Our next task is to write the words three, two, one, go before starting the race. And so how can that get done? Well, we can go ahead and get a turtle and let's move them into the right location, right? Where we want the three, two, one, go to start. And I want mine to start right in the middle of the page or be written right in the middle of the page um, towards the top of it. So I'm gonna take starting turtle, the one that I used to draw the starting and finish lines. And I'm gonna do a go to, and I'm gonna say go to zero on the X axis and positive 250 on the Y. So I'm gonna put them in the middle and up towards the top. I'm going to say, ooh, I'm going to do starting t dot pen down or pen up first, so I don't see a blue line as he moves over there. And I'm going to do starting p dot pen down um, after I get there. Right? And now I want to ask myself, how do I get my turtle to write text? So I can come over here, and I could say turtle uh, write text. And it should take me to the turtle documentation page, which it does. And then now that I'm here, I can press Control F and type in text, which takes me here. And this is the function that we need. Okay. So I can go ahead and copy it. And let's come back over here. We can, instead of turtle, we're going to be using starting underscore t to write. And this argument in the front is going to be the text that we're going to use to write down. So I'm going to start with three. Right? Um, and now here, this font, this number, this is the font type. And, oh, I can maybe do a line center. That's probably, probably be best. And then the font type is Arial. That's okay. Um, but the size is too small, right? So I'm going to make mine bigger, like 56 pixels tall. And let's go ahead and see if that works. Oh, no. So what does the error tell me? It says start t is not defined. Oh, look at here. I'm using the... Uh, turtle, the variable name start t, and we know it's starting t, right? So let me go ahead and try that again, and it's going to be a little bit slow, but in the meantime, you could be thinking about how can I get these colors to be different right? uh, on my different turtles. Um, and so here we wrote the word three, right? And now we want to write two, and then one, and then go, okay? So what we can do here is we can go ahead and just copy this and paste it again and instead of three let's write two one and go okay so let me put here one and then down at the bottom i want to say go and let's see how that runs oh, okay and so you can see they're all on top of each other so what you need to do before writing the two is you need to clear the three, right? And so there's luckily a function for that. So we can say starting t dot clear, and that will clear up everything that starting t wrote. And we'll do that to clean up the three. We'll do that to clean up the two, and we'll clean up the one. And after we hit, we type go, we're going to clean up the go as well. And so let me go ahead and rerun that. And let us see if that's going to work good. OK, so two problems. One is that the words are coming out too fast. We can't read them. And the second is when we clear the starting T, we're also clearing the lines that he drew here and here. Okay. So how can we solve this problem? Well, we can create another variable okay, that will hold a different turtle. So our start, our starting line and our finish line are going, going to be fine. So let's come back up here and let's go ahead and copy this code that makes starting t. And maybe I can call this one here counting t. Right? And our variable name should always be descriptive. Okay. So we got our counting t and now down here we're going to use counting t to write all of our text and clear it. And so let's go ahead and try that again. 
and you can see here we're creating our turtles and we have 3, 2, 1, go. Our starting and our finish line are there. Um, but the 3, 2, 1, go is going too fast. Right? So how can we fix that? Well, there is a, uh, a class, a module called time. And if you add that to your import line, right, where you import time as well, um, that gives us access to this function. You could say time.sleep, and you can give it the number of seconds you want to sleep for, or, or for the program to wait. And I'm going to put in 0.5 seconds. Okay, So I'm going to do that here, right before I clear, here right before I clear, here right before I clear, and here right before I clear. And so now if I run this, you'll see that he will say three, two, one, go slower. Okay, so that was better, right? But I think a one second delay on all of these will be better. So let me go ahead and do that. And another problem is um, when we draw our line, this blue turtle should probably go away, right? And then this turtle here should probably go away as well. And so one way we can do that is we can just go ahead and reset its color after he finishes drawing his lines to be gray. So he'll disappear. Same thing with the black one. Okay. So why don't we go ahead and do that? I could do counting underscore t dot color is going to be gray. And then up here on the drawing line, I could do starting t dot color is equal to gray. Okay, so that's going to make everything disappear and look nice and clean. So here we go. Getting our race started. Three, two, one, go. And we're going to make him go away. And this guy here that drew the starting and finish lines also turned gray and disappeared. Um, one thing that you might want to think about on a challenge exercise would be, hmm, let's see, what was I thinking about? I was thinking, no, I think this is about fine. All right, so, um, yeah, so if you get to this part, then we're, we'll be ready for the next um, portion where we actually get the turtles to race across the screen.